This is lesson 5A. This is focused only on abscesses as part of our minor surgery series. Midwives need to know how to drain abscesses. They may not have to know how to do some of the other minor procedures, but they really need to know how to drain abscesses. Drainage of abscesses is important, and the most important part is the local anesthesia. Infiltration anesthesia does not work in an abscess. You need to do a field block. A field block is simply infiltrating the anesthesia around the abscess. Pus neutralizes local anesthesia, so it will not work if you infiltrate the abscess itself. So here's our four abscesses. Let's just choose to drain this one. So we'll do a local field block by going circumferentially around the abscess, not into the abscess, but around the abscess, so that all the skin is anesthetized. You can't leave even the smallest bridge of unanesthetized skin, or the patient will feel it. So you've made your field block. Sometimes you can identify where the abscess is by sticking a needle into it and aspirating. You can see just a little bit of pus coming into the needle. Now, unlike other procedures, we don't want the skin to close. So we make a cruciate incision in the shape of a cross. So we have a cross incision. We can use a number 11 blade to find the abscess. And we can see we found the abscess and we're getting the pus to come out. Put our finger in and we make sure that we get all the abscess drained. Now, we don't want this to close. We want the wound to stay open. So we pack it with gauze. The gauze will remain in place till the next day. When it will be removed, the wound will be cleansed and another piece of gauze put in. And this will be done daily until the abscess completely heals in. So this is how you treat an abscess. Field block is crucial. Keeping it open until it heals is crucial. This minor procedure board allows you to drain it four times. Thank you for watching and please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and be sure to subscribe and like us on YouTube. If you would like more information about CNIS or on how to become our member, please go to www.cnis.ca.